Tarek El Gindi, Milo Sark break down Derek Lunsford's posing weaknesses and how to improve. El Gindi, Sarsev, Dennis James, and Chris Cormier discuss how Lunsford can improve his presentation on stage. You need to pose with more conviction. The bodybuilding calendar is set to heat up in just a few months, prompting veterans of the sport to discuss the future of the men's open division. In the latest The Menace podcast, Dennis James, Milo Sarsev, and Tarek El Gindi opened up on Derek Lunsford's posing strengths, weaknesses, and chances of jumping into the 2024 Arnold Classic. Since Mandau Big Rami Elspie's shocking defeat at the 2022 Mr. Olympia contest, a new hierarchy formed with Hadi Chupan claiming the sport's most prestigious crown. Although the Persian Wolf's conditioning made for a daunting challenge at the recent 2023 Mr. Olympia event, Derek Lunsford's near-flawless back double biceps pose closed the show. This victory cemented his status as the first two-division Mr. Olympia winner. Tension persisted between Chupan and Lunsford on stage, but they ultimately buried the hatchet in the days following the event. Now, with bodybuilding shifting its attention to the 2024 Arnold Classic, James, Sarsev, and El Gindi not only touch on Derek Lunsford's lack of chest and shoulder definition, but also how the champ can improve his posing. Dennis James, Tarek El Gindi, talk Derek Lunsford's posing and lack of conviction. Despite Lunsford's victory, Sarsev wasn't convinced by his conditioning levels, specifically the chest and shoulders. Derek just from the back, striated glutes and back double biceps, that's what he, that's him. And he was good on the side poses with the hamstrings but the upper body, Tarek, as the judges, saying the upper body his chest and shoulders, it was not comparable to quality and density, of Hadi Chupan, explains Milo Sarsev. Bodybuilding veteran Chris Cormier, who attended the 2023 Olympia, said Lunsford was the only bodybuilder who truly shocked him. My jaw didn't drop for nobody else, but Derek at this show, that's just my opinion, said Chris Cormier. Judge Tarek El Gindi acknowledged that Lunsford lacked chest and shoulder separation, which is why the former 212 Olympia champ lost the most muscular pose and the front lat spread. Milos, you are correct in saying Derek lacked separation on the chest and the shoulders, and that was one of feedbacks, and that is exactly what he lost the most muscular and he lost the front lat spread which are poses that really indicate the separation that you have on your upper body. In that back, double biceps, in the side chest, side triceps, back lat spread, those poses don't emphasize the separation that you're going to have on your chest right, they emphasize other items. You are not incorrect in pointing out that Derek had a flaw. Absolutely. You are not incorrect in saying that, but you also have to take into consideration that every competitor has a flaw.
Thank you.